Hey guys, welcome to my October empties vlog. Uh, in these kind of vlogs, I talk about the things that I've used up throughout the month, and now that we're now in November, I can talk about all the things that I used up in the month of October. Hence, why we're doing the October empties vlog now. Uh, it was a variety of things for me to talk about, from perfumes to hair products to face products. To special effects products and we might as well start with the very first product that I used up and that's kind of a lie I didn't actually use it up I just decided I was going to bin it because basically it, it's gone all dry and it's gone crap and it doesn't work effectively anymore and I'm talking about Avon's eye radiance brightening ones which looks like so I have to admit I have had this now for a good couple of years so I'm not surprised it's dried out just going to take the ones out of there, but I'm just going to try and do a swatch in the back of my hand. Maybe you might be able to see it, you might not. It's just, it just doesn't work very well anymore. And basically, compared to what I do use under my eyes as a concealer, the quality of this is shite. Total shite. So that's why I came to the opinion that this needs to go in the bin. Right, the next product that whacked into my bin was this BB cream here from Balance. It's the Snake Venom Multitasking Skin Perfecting BB Cream in a Universal Shade. Um, basically, this one's in the bin because it, it's gone. It's, it's run out. There's nothing, nothing left at all. I might be able to get a little bit out just to give you an indication of the colour, which you might be able to see on the end of my finger. And basically you blend it in and it matches to your own skin tone, making you got look like you, you know, you've, you've got foundation on when you haven't really or a nice natural look. But uh, I bought this from Savers, I think I paid £2.99 for it and to be perfectly honest, would I buy it again? No, I wouldn't. The reason why I bought this in the first place is because um, it's called the Snake Venom BB Cream, which is, um, as it says in the back, a multitasking skin, skin perfecter with added a snake venom peptide, sin egg, and moisturising cross-linked ironic acid. The universal shade of dusty skin to blur imperfections, unified skin tone, moisturising mid skin looking dewy and fresh. So in other words, what it's meant to do is, is make you look like you've got no lines in your forehead, but I found... The first few months of me using this, it did seem to do something, but then I suppose as time went by, it just didn't have the same effect. But it was still a good BB cream to use uh, more at the weekends than I would at the week, to be perfectly honest. But as I said, I wouldn't buy it again, and I actually wouldn't recommend it either. Right, the next product that went into my bin, and for those of you that have never seen my bin, here it is. This is my bin. This is what all my empties go into so I can collect throughout the month. And then show to you lads. So anyway, the next thing that went in there was this white face paint from Snazzaroo, which as you can see has gone. And uh, I went and bought myself another one off eBay to replace that. Uh, mainly because I was going to be doing some Halloween looks. I know I did a couple, but I also had a couple of um, people to deal with last night halloween i did the makeup forum first time ever i did my looks on other people it was quite freaky to see what i've done on myself before on other people but they loved it they went out by it they got big thumbs up from everyone that 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 just makes me happy but anyway well that went in the bin followed by this extremely empty bottle of liquid latex it's basically just been knocking about in my special effects makeup bag now for a good few months i don't know why i didn't get rid of it in the first place maybe i was hoping i might be able to scrape something out of there i i just don't know but i don't need it anymore because i've got plenty of liquid latex now so yeah that can go in the bin too okay right next thing that went in the bin was this mascara here from maybelline it's their rocket volume express mascara i have to me i've had that for about a year now so i'm not surprised that once again like most things it's dried up um that's what the bush looked like and um there's just there's just just no product left at all always a bit but that that ain't gonna coat your lashes is it now guys it's just gonna do absolutely nothing to them so obviously unfortunately it had to go right the next product that i run out of is 
in the month of October was my moisturiser from Olay. It's their anti-wrinkle primer 2-in-1 moisturiser. I loved this. This was so perfect for me to use in the mornings because obviously as you can see the 2-in-1 has got a built-in primer. So all I had to do was moisturise my face and it was primed as well at the same time, saving me time in the morning when it comes to my makeup. I haven't been able to find this anywhere else, which is really, really frustrating. I've looked in Morrison's, I've looked in Asda, I've looked in Boots, I've looked in Sabres and Bodica, I'd love to say I've looked in Superdrug, but we don't have one here in Bromsgrove, so I can't look in there. So I'm kind of like scuppered. I've, I've got, I've got, I've bought myself a replacement at the moment. It's another one from Garnier, but I want this back. Uh, the next product that got used up was the last of my bath bombs that I bought off eBay for about one ninety nine. There was about twelve little dinky ones, all in the shape of hearts, and there was a variety of scents to them. There was strawberry, orange, lavender, rose, and lemon. Want to buy them again? Without being insulting to the person who made them, no, sorry, um, the quality wasn't as good as I was expecting. I think they needed to be a little bit bigger. Maybe it was just me being a Scrooge and not splurging out as much money as I should have done. But at the time, I was just trying them out firstly to see if I did like bath bombs and if I could get used to lying in the bath with things floating around my head, uh, which I have been able to do so. But I think next time I do go for bath bombs of eBay, I, I will be looking for better quality ones than these. Uh, next product that went in the bin was this perfume here. It is called Eau de Play. I did not buy this myself. I found this in Stuart's Nan House when we were doing a clear out. It is quite a fancy French perfume. I have looked it up on Google because I was interested in what you know what, what is this, what is this exactly that I'm spraying myself with, and it's quite hard to get hold of. It's not something that gets very popular. Uh, I think it was about 15 to 20 pounds in, in price. It's a very strong ooh, in your face scent, I have to admit that. Would I go out of my way to buy this again or wear it again? No, definitely not. It's just not me. Next product that went in my being was this tough paste here from Colgate. It is the Maximum Cavity Protection Tough Paste. We all need to brush our teeth at least once or twice a day. Twice is better than once because then you've got more protection going on with your teeth. And as I'm starting to come to realise now that my teeth are starting to recede from the gums, one needs to take more care with them because it is starting to really irritate me. Sometimes I look in the mirror and I look at my teeth and I can actually see where they are starting to recede. And that's quite devastating when you get to my age, really, when you've been used to having quite good looking teeth. Like, uh, I say good looking, and they're not that good looking. I mean, they're chipped and they're mashed, and yeah. Anyway, tough paste has gone in the bin. Right, next thing that was used up in October on moi was this hair dye from Scorch Cough. Scorch Cough, Scorch Cough. I can't say it to save my life. But it's their live colour XXL Eye Definition Intense Colour Air Dye in Cosmic Blue. This, as I have explained previously in other vlogs, is my go to hair colour. I have made my mind up. This is just simply me. I mean, I'm, I've got it in my hair today, as you can see. It's not as blue as it was when I first applied this, but you can still pick it up sometimes. I, I just love this intense colour that it adds. It's, I've had other black hair dyes, and they don't give me the same blackness as this one does. So this this is my saviour, basically. And um, I picked it up for two ninety nine from Savers, so quite a good, reasonable price to pray. You can't beat Swartzkopf. Swartzkopf. I can't help it. Now, I love my baths. I do, I do, and I do. Every Saturday night, I like to have a good old pan procession and I like to have a good old soak in the bath. And as I've already mentioned, uh, other bath bombs, I may as well mention this bath bomb that I've also used up in the month of October. You've seen these ones before. I picked them up from Poundland. They're from Beautifully Scrunchies, and it's the lavender bath bomb with rose petals infused inside them. And I love the scent. I love the feel of my skin after I've had a good old soak in it. And considering they're only a quid, a total bargain, really. I can't say anything bad about these at all. 
Now the next product that ended up in my bin isn't actually a beauty product, it is more of a smelly thing. It's it's this and it's from Per Aroma. It's the Cherry Blossom Lava Gel Crystals and as you can see there are none left. It is empty. It was rammed full of little little bowls of smelly goodness and I had it by the side of my bed so when I got into bed it was nice smelly aroma i can't smell it anymore obviously they've dried out whatever is left in there which i mean if you come close you might be able to see the remnants left at the bottom uh, i picked this up from asda i think i paid a pound for it it was just something quirky that i saw and i thought i don't like the looks of that i want that i want it now so i did and i bought it i haven't come across it since so um i'm gonna keep my eyes peeled again for another one so i can grab it and put it back by my bed right next thing that ended up in that bin was this body spray from playboy it's a vip one absolutely adore this scent at the time when i was buying these they were on offer for a pound maybe they've gone back up to the normal price so at the moment i'm using different body sprays but this i guarantee you it's a gorgeous scent it's definitely definitely worth having just knocking around in your handbag to give yourself a quick blitz of goodness and i just like its fruity scent it's nice it's really nice the next product was this shower gel from original source it's their pineapple and coconut oil moisturizing shower gel oh my life this stuff is just absolutely gorgeous the scent the pineapples oh awesome it just makes you feel all lush and silky smooth afterwards um and it says it on the bank this all-in-one moisturizing shower gel helps leave your skin feeling quenched and nourished and revitalized absolutely ideal to use first thing in the morning even though most of the time i do have a shower at night but it's enough to just give you a quick pick me up and keep you going for the rest of the evening before you go crash into your bed Right, the next product I used was this deodorant from Soft and Gentle. It is their Lavender Patchouli Body Responsive Anti White Marks Deodorant. I love the scent. And I paid £2 for this. I think it's normally a lot, lot more. So I obviously got it when it was an offer because at the moment I'm using smaller ones. This lasted quite a while, obviously, because the size of it is quite a big one. We all like big ones. Don't deny it, ladies. Right, next product I used was another bath product, and this is the, um, the Imperial Leathers Love Story Pampering Bath Cream in the scent of Pearl Rose and Forget Me Not. This is absolutely heavenly, and I love the fact that this turns your bath water a bright pink colour. Oh my goodness, you can't ask for more than a bright pink bath. This stuff's lovely, and I love the way that it it was really nice to soak in a beautiful scent as i said it just as it says on the back it leaves you feeling comforted and relaxed and it blooming well does next product that was thrown into one's bin was this hairspray from my favorite company in the world sports cough and it is a got to be glued hairspray i love this hairspray and i always have to have this hairspray in my property at all times so well, there's a reason, right? It's autumn now. Weather's getting a little bit windy. Sometimes one likes to wear her hair up. Sometimes one likes to style her hair so she looks quite nice in the office. You know, shit like that. I find conventional bog standard hairsprays just, just, they don't do it for me. They just do not work. Whereas this baby, this baby does because it just glues your hair in place and it does not move. It does not shift a inch and everything that this thing claims to do believe me it does it if you've never used this hairspray please please do so sometimes you can find it and offer in your local supermarket quite reasonable prices i like to wait till it's down to at least two pound fifty and then i grab it but then there are times when i'm that desperate i will pay full price which is around the price of three pounds seventy but my god believe me this is worth the money. The next thing that went in my bin was this gorgeous smelly candle that I bought just over a month and a half ago, I think. You would have seen it in one of my shopping haul vlogs if you watch me quite regularly. Anyway, it's, it's the Enspa Relaxing Patchouli and Lang Lang Luxury Scented Candle, which 
yes I was anal and I kept the box so I could put it back in style it when I wasn't using it because some just things like that because as I said I'm very anal but um that is the candle wood in question and as you can clearly see it's dead it's as dead as a dodo which it's quite a shame. The weird thing is about these candles that when I smell it now, I can smell the patchouli and the sandalwood coming through like you wouldn't believe. Absolutely gorgeous scents. I love them. But when you're burning it, not so much. It's a bit of a fail there, I spark. Because did I pay £2 for it, would I buy it again? No. No, I wouldn't. Simply because, as I said, when it's lit, there isn't that much of a strong scent. And when I'm chilling out of me pamper session and I've got candles lit upstairs filling the hours of a mixture of scents I want to be able to smell those scents and this just didn't cut it it did not cut it at all so bye bye candle right next thing that went in my bin were the last of my bath the fistlers that I picked up from body care say about three four weeks ago now as you can see they only cost me £2.99 and to be perfectly honest guys, these were another big fat fail and I wouldn't waste me money on, on them ever again. I mean it's a good job they were only quite cheap. Uh, what disappointed me about these were the fact that there was no scent to them. No scent at all. And though yes they did believe kind of like a silky feeling to the water so when you were in it you could feel it moisturising your skin. I didn't feel that I benefited anything else from these at all so... And finally, the last thing that, that I used up in the month of October was my face powder from Maybelline. This is the Superstay 24 Hour Waterproof Powder in the shade Ivory. I broke it. Broke it, I did. But it, it still stayed in there, so that was good. But as you can see, it's now all gone. Not one bit left. So, like the rest of the stuff that I've used up this month, it also went into the bin. And that's it guys, that is my October empties done and just thank you very much for taking the time to watch this as usual. At some point I will be also recording my monthly favourites vlog. I know you guys love them, I love making them for you. Um, so please do keep your eyes peeled for that because that will be coming soon very soon indeed but that's it for now thank you again for watching do take care of yourself if you've got any questions please do feel free to ask moi one is always happy to answer anything that you've got to say even if it is abuse because if you want to give it please expect it back that's all i'm going to say right once again take care of yourselves i'll see you soon until then bye for now